Hello, welcome to Vlogmas. Welcome back to Vlogmas. If you haven't already seen any of my other videos, I've been posting a video pretty much every single day leading up to Christmas. So I promised you guys in my last selling my clothes video that I would show you kind of the process that I do to, um, <laughs> hello, the process of like actually shipping out the packages. It's super simple um, because I'm not using an app like Depop or Poshmark or something. I kind of have to do it all manually so it takes a little bit of extra time but um, I've already packaged all of the packages I happen to already have a bunch of um, like shipping envelopes I think I just bought them in bulk a long time ago and I still have a bunch and they're really good because they have like a self sealer so you don't have well you still use tape to ship to tape the shipping label but it's like super secure and like sticks really well so I've packed up all of my things and then I just write with Sharpie on the top of them so I know like what's in what. And then I go onto a website called Shippo and it's free to use. And I've already charged people for shipping and I do charge a little bit of extra because obviously I have to buy the supplies and then I have to print out the things because I don't have a printer. So I have to pay for the printing services to print the shipping labels and then I have to tape it all on. So there is like a lot of extra work involved. And then um, the price that I charge for shipping covers the cost of shipping. I only ship in the US because otherwise it's really expensive. And then it covers the cost of like the supplies and the labor. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing. My little thrifted sweater, my Levi's, a little turtleneck short sleeve top, my necklace, and my little like mule slide things that I thrifted. We are going to do a Target and PetSmart haul because I had to get stuff for Reggie and Pickle. I had to get them hay. And then while I was there, I remembered that my parents have a dog, obviously, and I needed to get her something for Christmas. And so I got her a present. Um, and then also we're doing a Friends Miss slash White Elephant slash presentation night this week. And we have to get a gift for the White Elephant. And I obviously don't have a dog but I was thinking there's so many people with dogs in our friend group that getting like a dog gift would be a good one I feel like a lot of people would like want that so for that I got this stocking that has a bunch of different toys it has eight different toys like rope toys squeaky toys and I thought that was perfect because the dogs in our group kind of there's like different sizes of them but they all love toys um, and then I also got a like beef bone I guess for that beef present. Bone. James is commentary in the back of all of my videos is hilarious. I also got dog poop bags because, you know, those come in handy. And then a little snowman dog cookie. So that's for the white elephant. And then for Dixie, my parents' dog. I <laughs> what? I got her this stuffed animal. She loves squeaky toys. Like she will destroy them to get to the squeaky inside. And this one's pretty big, so I feel like she'll like that. I got her a little bark bar. It's like peanut butter flavored dog. I think it's supposed to be like a candy bar, but for dogs. And then I got her some bacon and cheese treats. Dixie can be a little picky, so I feel like she will hopefully like those, but I don't know. And then for Reggie and Pickle, I got them hay, like I said, but I also, <laughs> I'm, oh my God, I'm hilarious just how all the stuff that I got. But I got Reggie this foraging mat that I've actually wanted to get him for so long. I think it's specifically for dogs, but it's basically where you can like hide treats all through these little like flaps that they have and it's for the animal to kind of like have to sort of hunt for their food not that reggie would hunt in the wild but like he would forage he's foraging he's foraging so it's like it's it encourages it's enrichment nourishing. it's an enrich enrichment um so i'm excited to like have him try that out i actually need to order treats i didn't get them at passport because they're really expensive um okay at target i really need to get like some winter boots because i'm going to colorado but I don't really know why about these. I think they're cute um, and they fit, they're cute. But the whole thing is like, they have no traction on the bottom. So I'm like, why are these being sold as like wintery snow boots when I'm gonna literally slide everywhere on these? So they're really not that practical, but whatever. <laughs> I, I got them because they're cute and they were on snow. Um, okay, I got my dad a little beanie. I don't think my parents will watch this video. So yeah, they won't. 
Um, but I got my dad a little beanie. I, I got him other things. I kind of had, like, I pretty much already have all my presents, like, sorted for everybody, but there were just, like, some little things that I needed to get people. So I got him a hat because he said that he really wanted a beanie. Um, I got myself some gloves because I realized that I don't own any gloves for when I'm in Colorado and like going on little morning walks around the neighborhood. Um, I also got myself this little beret, like a crochet beret. I don't know, I think it's cute. I, I feel like I like the look of them so I'm hoping that I will actually wear it and then I'll like it. And then for my nieces, I got them just like these random, these are more, not like stocking stuffers, but just like small gifts. Um, it's this like unicorn thing because they're obsessed with unicorns <laughs> and then they had these like snow molds Which I thought was really cool So you can like mold this into like mold the snow into a penguin and they live in Colorado. So there's lots of snow I got James some things, but he's literally sitting behind me. So I'm not gonna show you what they are They're just little uh, And then I got my favorite toner in the world because I have not really had a toner recently And I've noticed that without the toner my face isn't my skin isn't doing as well so this one's the Heritage Store Rosewater Toner. I swear it's like the only one I will ever use for the rest of my life because it's amazing. And they sell it at Target and also on Amazon. So that's the haul. And now I'm making vegan chicken tenders in the air fryer because I'm so hungry. I never bring a snack with me whenever I go shopping. It's, it's always a terrible idea because I always get super hungry. Okay, super quick grocery haul for you guys because we just went to the grocery store, but James and I are leaving to Colorado this weekend, so we couldn't get that much stuff. Um, I got some vegan beef burgers just to have like I like to have like a Some sort of like either frozen thing or like vegan meat I know it's not the healthiest for you, but it's just nice to have like if I'm really hungry and I have nothing else to eat and plus they're high in protein I got tofu. I've been in a very big tofu Phase right now. Um, soy riso. James got some protein bars. I got some protein bars some vegan cheese for dinner tonight um, we got vegan eggnog and a thing of rum, which I don't have right here because it's massive because we're doing Friendsgiving or Friendsmas this week. So James is making eggnog drinks and I'm going to make, um, bread pudding. I got some butter for that. Got some milk for that. We got some salad mixes. This is for Reggie and Pickle while we're gone because our friend is watching them. Got some tortillas and then I got an onion, tomato, and bell pepper for dinner tonight. I'm excited to show you guys what we're making. Okay, so the recipe that we're doing is a protein pasta. Hold on, let me. Okay, we got protein pasta, but I saw this person on TikTok make a pasta sauce out of like a bunch of veggies. I think she called it like hidden, hidden veggies pasta sauce. I don't remember. Um, it's basically where you roast like bell pepper, onion, tomato, garlic in the oven until they're cooked and then you blend that and she blended it with cashews which i couldn't find at the store they didn't have like raw cashews which i assumed is just to make it like creamy like how you would make like a vegan alfredo um so i just got vegan mozzarella because that was kind of like the next best thing i could find so i have the oven on i'm gonna cut up the veggies i'm really excited i don't know why but ever since i saw it i was like oh it looks so good and then we have fresh basil in the garden outside the garden <laughs> growing outside so i think i might blend that with the veggies too uh, one that you can do where it's like, what would these people's children look like? Like, that's a, actually, I was thinking that idea, like, putting people together and being like, what these people look like if they have kids. Yeah, but we could do, like, the funniest matchup. Yeah. Like, Ginger and Connor and, like, Graham and Matilda. Oh my god. But then we could also do, like, Al and Tommy. Yeah, yeah, no, I was thinking, that's, I actually had that idea earlier, but... I don't know how- No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. No. That was my good idea. Hey, you want to do something really fun? Yeah, I'm doing this. Give this to Mr. Pickle. Give me. He'll be so excited. Okay, so these are the leftover veggies, but basically I just pan- I just like put a pan of bell pepper, tomatoes, onions- that's the whole thing of garlic. <laughs> um, garlic on a pan with like olive oil and spices. And then now the pasta has a sauce in it with some vegan cheese. And I also made a little salad with like balsamic vinegar and olive oil and some artichokes and tomatoes. Okay, it's time to go thrifting. I have some clothes that I'm gonna take to Buffalo Exchange and try to get some store credit for. I also have to try to get a Christmas present for James. So I'm probably gonna go to a couple stores 
And then I also need to go to Trader Joe's because my parents don't live anywhere near Trader Joe's and so whenever I go to visit them, my mom gives me a list of things that she wants me to bring to her. So I have to go shopping to tr at Trader Joe's for my mom. Hi guys, I feel like I'm literally fighting for my life. Um, I just like feel like I'm getting a little bit sick and I'm pretending like I'm not because that's literally what I do when I'm sick. I'm like, I don't have time to be sick. But I just like feel like I have no energy and like I have to be in a very specific mood to wanna like physically shop and especially thrifting. And also the guy who was buying my stuff at Buffalo Exchange, normally they take almost all my stuff, like at least I usually get like at least $100 of store credit. The guy barely took any of my stuff. Um, so I only had like $59. And then I still have to go, I have to shop for James, but I feel like I'm just gonna have to do it online because I just feel like I need to go home. Um, I did get some things, like I got a few things, but yeah, definitely not, wasn't as expected, but that's okay. Sorry, I know you guys were probably expecting a really fun thrifting day. Ah, uh, 